Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save all the comments for the end. I'm back for this channel. I'm still gonna do Breakers channel on my other my Breakers content on my other channel. I could probably just gonna make that my main Breakers channel. And I did say I was gonna make content on this channel again. And I already got videos planned. As you see, we're getting back to the basics as I will be covering this once again every month we are back on the boruto manga reviews this is boruto manga chapter 75 review if you are new to the channel please subscribe i guess we're gonna try to build this back up but i have i have no faith in this channel considered the way youtube works nowadays unless you're doing something mainstream or something brand new that everyone likes you're not really making it on youtube but uh i don't really care anymore at this point but we got a lot to unpack in this chapter. I'm not doing any comic parts. I'm just going to have gameplay in the back because I don't feel like screenshotting a whole bunch of stuff and doing all that other stuff right now. I just want to make a video and chill. I'm just going to do simple stuff now. Um, okay, so spoiler alert. This is a review, so if you haven't read the chapter, don't watch this video. Or if you haven't read the chapter and you still want to watch the video, and you just want a summed up version of what happened, watch the video. So, basically in this chapter, I got the manga uh, chapter right in front of me. So basically, this chapter is talking all about Ada and Damon's, Ida, Damon, or Ada, or whatever her name is, Ida, Ada, and Damon's abilities and where they came from, how Amato did it, what Amato's true objective is, that's basically what this chapter is talking about. So, basically he was talking about how Ada's ability, you how her ability allows it to where she can, uh, well, her chanting ability does not allow her to chant blood relatives and Otsutsuki. We already know that part. And how her shearing gun or whatever how you pronounce that, I do not know this stuff because it's not in English, so I do not, I'm not good at pronouncing Japanese stuff. But, um, I'm really bad at pronunciation, so apologize for that. But you know what I'm talking about, her eye, her... They're talking about how she can see everything, people's conversations, everything like that, as she's in the room. And she can see even past events, but she cannot see past, well, before her birth. So she can only see in the past up to, up to 16 years. So she is 16 years old, so... And she, I don't even know, but she's 16 years old. And he was talking about how Damon's abilities where he can reflect the user's attacks back to them, including their thoughts. Even if they think about beating them up, even if they think about beating him up, that gets back onto them. Because Kawaki tried it and got smacked in the face by nothing. So yeah, and Momato starts talking about these abilities, and they're just like, hey, yo, these are really impressive. How do you even get these abilities? Shikamaru's like that. And um, he was like, no human can really make stuff like this. It's just abilities he got from the Otsutsuki God. He got from the Otsutsuki God's remains and implanted them. As he said, uh, Ida, Damon, and even Code's claw marks are part of this, or from this man. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see, get this, uh, in here. So, he's, I forget what he's talking about. I do not know how to pronounce, I'm like, I told you I am bad at pronouncing names. I'm just calling him the Otsugi God, because that's basically what they're explaining and ta telling about him, people, is that he went to so many planets and ascended, got so much chakra fruit and ascended so high that he probably even ascended above that plane of existence and his body was just cast aside so that's what basically they were saying about him and that his his jutsu or his stuff 
he doesn't even need to weave signs. It was so godlike. He can just weave, wave his hand and uh, tsunamis and clouds and thunders. Like, he can basically command shit without weaving signs or anything like that. That's what... I, I don't know how to pronounce stuff. I'm not trying to pronounce it. Don't, don't ask me to pronounce this stuff. You know what I'm talking about. You haven't seen the manga chapter. You see it. But there's another thing that you're calling something jutsu. And it's not like ninjutsu. They said it's not like sage art. Like I said, I am bad at pronouncing names. I am not attempting to it unless I watch another video about it and someone pronounces it the way it's supposed to be pronounced. And then in later on videos, I will pronounce it right. So next manga chapter review, they talk about it. I'll make sure to watch some other person's videos to see the, ac the accurate pronunciations for that. But I'm not going to make myself look stupid here by pronouncing it the wrong way. Um, so whatever his jutsu is, they're basically saying that ninjutsu was a pale imitation compared to his, ju his, his jutsu. And... How everything, uh, including sage jutsu and stuff like that, that stuff, uh, not even sage jutsu, um, art, sage art, something like that, all that stuff is basically pale imitations compared to him, and that he would probably ascend it up above a plane of existence. But no one really knows uh, at this point in the chat, in this chapter, the part I'm talking about, no one knows if that's happening because Shikamaru was like, hey, did he get killed or what's going on? And then Amado starts telling the story of why he did what he did he was saying that his daughter um apparently she was 20 something i think she was like 20 something when she died but his daughter had an illness that they could not cure none of the doctors could figure out what was wrong with her and they it was beyond their understanding and in that case um he was trying to figure out a way through because all these otsuki stuff he was trying to figure out a way to um well we clone, clone his daughter. He wanted to clone his daughter, make her, well, make her a new body with all of her memories and her personality intact. But he wasn't able to do that. He, she say, he said she died and he didn't feel anything because he felt like he was going to get her back. And so he kept, he preserved her brain after she died. He made a perfect clone. He implanted the brain, digitized the memories and stuff and planted it into the, um, the clone of her which happened to be Delta. Delta was his clone, his daughter's clone. I'm bad at pronouncing names, so I'm not pronouncing his daughter's name. If you read the chapter, you read the chapter. I am a fan of Naruto, I am a fan of Boruto. I'm just terrible at pronouncing Japanese stuff, okay? I'm, I'm not, I have to hear it firsthand in English for me to even remember it. And I'll only read it and heard it in Japanese, so I do not know how to pronounce that stuff. So. And his and he uh, copied the uh, he copied his daughter's memories perfectly, but the personality in Delta was the same. He said he kept on retrying over and over again, but the personality was not hers, even though she had all of his daughter's memories and everything. But it wasn't the same person. And he said he realized that a human's uh, personality is more complex than their memories. And so he was trying. So he just well gave up. And I forgot to mention, but even karma is a form of the Otsutsuki God's Jutsu. It came from him. And so, as soon as he gave up, really, he re set in. It set in, he said. And he started to feel, <clears throat> well, sad. And that's when Jigen, a.k.a. Ishiki Otsutsuki, appeared. And uh, offered him his, the, his, he was going to bring his daughter back to life. He helped him, but it was lying because the planet would be destroyed. And Amato said after um, he realized his plan, Shikamaru said, like, what, you um, gave up your search, you gave up your stuff for finding your daughter a cure or something like that, or bring your daughter back to life? And he was like, I didn't stop that, but there's no point of bringing her back to life if there's not going to be a planet to live on, is basically his, his thing. And... Yeah, we see... There's other parts in there, like Delta tries to go see Ada and... Um, class rep she uh uses her shut off words or shut off code or whatever to shut her down because she kept on trying to go to Ida and they said that she shouldn't even be um be able to move when they had to reprogram her that she should have listened to them and stuff like that there's minor stuff like that that happened um that was really kind of an insignificant thing right there um and so as he's saying all this stuff about his daughter the reason why he's doing all this stuff the reason he implanted karma onto, uh, gave karma back to Kawaki, 
was because Kawaki can implant the karma onto his, um, well, daughter or Delta. And he said he could use that to restore her personality and memories entirely. So she would basically be resurrected entirely. And basically that's what his goal is. And that's what they said. And Shikamaru doesn't believe this. And so he asks Ida to, you know, make sure it's true. What she does say it's true. But in the light of all that, Momoshiki and Boruto's minds link. They connect. And this is brings me back to my theory of saying that Boruto will befriend Momoshiki. Because they were talking, they weren't really being hateful toward each other towards each other in this uh in this panel or these panels. But uh they were towards the end, but they weren't being hateful to each other in these panels. So he was basically saying Mato's story is not adding up and what he was saying was true that the Otsutsuki god did ascend to a higher plane and how he doesn't he doesn't like the feeling he doesn't trust Amato either and that he's saying he knows all of the Otsutsuki god's abilities and the ability that Ada has to where it enchants anyone around her besides blood relatives and Otsutsuki is not one of his abilities so he feel like feels well believes that Amato is lying on some sort of plane and he's deceiving all of them and he said he doesn't like everything that's going on he doesn't trust the model he has a bad feeling about this stuff and Boruto then then you got them arguing basically saying yo how long is this he wants at the end and stuff and then Boruto has a vision his eye he gets a Byakugan eye or that's a Jogan I don't know because I know heard in the manga it's the Byakugan and not the Jogan and the Jogan is only an anime canon thing and not a manga canon thing right now so whatever eye it is I can't tell it's not colored it's grayed out or white it out, whatever. But um, he has a vision of, uh, Sh of Shikadai and all of them. They said, this is not what a friend does. And you got um, Sage Mode and Mitsuki there. And everyone's wondering what's going on. Even Boruto just comes back and he's like, what did I just see? What happened? And I think either he is about to turn into Boroshiki again. Or maybe he's starting to obtain some of the memories he had when he was Boroshiki. I did not read those earlier on chapters. So I'm not so sure. But it is to be continued for next month's chapter. This chapter overall was actually pretty good. It was really informative. You gotta know a lot of things. The Otsutsuki God is now canon. They basically confirm that. Well, they don't call him the Otsutsuki God. They have his name. It's something Otsutsuki. But I'm not good at pronouncing names. Like I said many times throughout this video. So, ain't finna try it again. But, like I said... This chapter was a good chapter. I'd give it a good 10 out of 10. I didn't really enjoy reading this chapter. I was sucked right into it. The past four chapters, including this chapter, have all been phenomenal. If you guys do not read the Boruto manga and watch the Boruto anime, just read the manga because it is really good. I stopped reading the Boruto manga for about three months. I read three chapters, got caught up before this chapter, and I was wanting more of the manga. But, like I said, this manga is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I really did overall enjoy this manga, and I do have more videos up for you guys. Uh, well, planned for you guys. Mostly Overwatch, but I did get into Overwatch 2, so I got some videos for there. There might be streams of Overwatch, including Warzone 2, even though I suck at Warzone, but we'll see. But anything, well, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please smash the like button. New to the channel, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out, Plague Squad, XP Kage, out.